Alright, so uh, if you didn't know, this game is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It is a game where your goal is to not starve. Like, you want to live for as long as you can. And so to do so, you have to pick things, kind of like Minecraft in a way. You have to go around, collect things, and uh... What am I thinking? You have to go around, collect things, and then craft things to keep alive. And so some of the challenges comes with the, you know, staying alive part. Whoop. Uh, as you can see, I'm picking up a lot of, uh, saplings. You get twigs off of those, and, uh, those help with creating things. Over here you'll see I have, like, a... Whoop. That's a... that's a turkey. Okay, that's new. And another thing about this game that I think is really cool is you kind of have a sanity meter right there. And you do go crazy. And there are some things that I've seen in this game that have spooked me out. Like, I've gotten pretty, pretty freaked out playing this game. As you can see, like, there's no music in the background or anything. It's just, like, nature some water right there. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if you can see my cursor, honestly. Uh, hopefully you can, but if not, then I'm just kinda magically wandering around collecting things. Ah, Flint. So, a lot of the things I'm doing right now, I'm probably either gonna fast forward a lot, unless something interesting happens, uh, because it's really just running around gathering things and hoping not to you know, die. Bees! Okay, so now, uh, <clears throat> it's not getting dark yet, but as you can see up in the top corner, it says day one. Uh, this is when things start getting, uh, they start getting pretty hairy because I really need a, I need a place to camp and to make a fire, but I'd really like some woods so I can make a good, uh, good campfire, or some rocks, not some woods, I'd like some some rocks to make a really good campfire, but as you can see, like, it got really dark, and you can see this arrow on my brain right there. That says, uh... My sanity was going down, and it's because, uh, spending too much time in the dark... is, uh, a good way to lose sanity. Like, you go insane in this game doing it, so... And you can also see I have a stomach and a heart. I'm not entirely sure. I guess, though, the heart's my health. I'm such an idiot sometimes. The heart is obviously my health. And, uh... So I'm gonna start planting trees. Now, I once was playing this, uh, months ago. And I kind of had my tree farm turn into a monster on me. Flint. I'm gonna go get the flint. Get the flint. Get the other flint. Run away. So, a large part of this game. First off, I need to keep this fueled. And, uh, let's see... Can I cook these? Nope, those can be fuel though. So as you can see, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat some eat some carrots. Cooked them. So now my health is full, and uh, I'm probably gonna fast forward through the night unless something interesting happening happens. So you'll probably see a lot quicker of a video. Oh, I forgot you could do that. Look at this. Oh, that's a whole new perspective to the game. See, the problem I have with the night is that you don't really have much you can do because of the sanity meter. 
Like, look at that. Uh, the max is 200, and I'm at 194. Up. Uh, look how spooky it is out here now. Nom nom nom! This is what I want to make right here. I want to make a uh, <clears throat> I want to make a fire pit so that I can have an actual camp. I can make a I can make a torch. Uh, the last time I made a torch, I ended up not going whoop, not going insane, but uh, I did get pretty spooked out. Uh, what's this dress? Whoop! I keep doing that. I need to stop. Alright, so now it's day two. And, uh, saving the game. That's nice. I'm gonna go around, collect food, collect wood. Um. Hopefully live. I'll probably go for another... Um. Probably another 20 more minutes. Uh, and then I'll call it quits. Pick up the pine cones, pick up the pine cone. Uh, let's grab some flint. Flint always good. Flint is used in making tools, so that's a, that's a pretty valuable resource right there. As you can see, this is a lot like uh, Minecraft, you know. It's a pretty fun game, actually. It's really thought-driven, and that seemed to have found an edge. Let's look at this. Okay. So where's the house on the map? The house was... I left my fire here, I want to say. Yeah, those. that's where I left it. So I traveled, as you can see, the map is pretty off-scale. Look at the rabbit! <gasps> so I'll probably end up recording probably three days, and you'll you guys will end up seeing, like, all three of them in probably five minutes due to how fast I'm gonna fast forward. I really should do this as like an RP. Ah, ah, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, oh my god. Bad idea. Run away. Ah, oh, that was kind of frightening. So, uh... Main thing I learned today, don't piss off bees. Because while it is fun, they don't tend to like that. Oh, I hear mad bees. Oh, oh, look, you can see my, my berries are getting old. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a second. <sighs> Please don't tell me. Did I really attack bees that were right next to my house? This was where I, yeah, this was where I was camping. So, I guess I'm gonna camp here again. I'd like to venture out, honestly. I'd like to venture out and find, oh man. I'd like to find more rocks. Or find rocks at all, honestly. I haven't found any. Now, what's the point of having a pickaxe if you're not gonna find any rocks? And what's the point of, oh, puddle! So pretty soon here, I'm probably going to stop and uh, make a little fire. I'd really like to not make a fire, but I'd want to have a fire pit if I was going to make one, but I guess I need to... I can't make a campfire. I need more grass. There we go. Now I can make a campfire. I'm just going to grab some more grass because I don't want that to happen again. And then I'm going to go ahead and build a campfire. 
So let's go ahead and put one right there. I'm gonna eat some berries. And now I'm full. And I guess I'm gonna... what do I have here? What can you do with seeds? You can drop them and cook them. Let's see, I've got a lot of flint. got some petals. Petals I'll probably use as fuel for tonight. So what I need to make is a science machine. And the way to make a science machine is to have one gold, which drops from rocks, eight, uh, four, you have to have four logs, which I've got eight, and then you have to have four rocks. So I have to go find the rocks. I can make a grass suit. I've made a log suit before. Normally, let's see, what do I make in here? I've made some stuff, mainly rope, rope and, oh, trap, trap. I don't think I've ever made a trap. Alchemy engine. There are some really cool things you can make, but you have to kind of be able to make them. And go ahead and eat those berries before they get old. As you can see, things, they do expire. So, like, part of this game is you have to be able to... I need to use some of the fuel. And so, the night time is kind of, uh... Kind of bad for you, because, like, you know, the whole point is not to, to not starve. So, don't starve. But if you go crazy, you will die. Like, they will kill you. And it's there's some, some crazy... I've seen some crazy things playing this game. Like, some really scary monsters. And I think it might be on sale on Steam right now. So uh, that might be something to check out. And then it was dawn of the third day, so this is great. Alright, I really would love to keep up with that. Uh, the fire? The problem being... Yeah, I want to go this way. I haven't been out this way. The problem with keeping up with just, like, that fire or any other fire is that it's, like... It's better to move on and try to find the things I need to make a... Uh, let, let, a fire stop, because then I can establish like a home, like a base of operations kind of deal. Let's look around here, see what we can see. And this is the usual kind of thing I think you find rocks in, so I want to see if I can find any of those. Uh, you can put traps up to kill rabbits. I think killing things actually might make you... Man, I have not seen a single rock. Oh, look how close I can zoom in. I'm about to pick up boop. Don't look, viewers. <laughs> viewers beware. Investigate suspicious dirt pile. So, uh, like other animals in this, if you attack one of these, all of them are going to attack you. What can you do with manure? I can't remember. I remember it was useful for stuff, but couldn't tell you what. Alright, I have enough to make another campfire. 
So I'm not worried about that. But I am worried about being able to actually advance my game. Uh, oh, there's a spider web. Spider eggs with spider webs. Man, I really need like some traveling music. I also would love a like the ability to sprint would be cool. There's a spooky area over there. <gasps> Piggy house. Oh man, it's getting spooky now. I don't like being in the fire or in the forest. You can cause a forest fire. And I don't like being in the forest because it's like one of those. One of those monsters that always scares me lives in here. It's like, ooh, spooky! <gasps> Plugged sinkhole. <gasps> Sweet, we got some rocks. I don't want to spelunk that. That seems spooky. I'm gonna do it. Uh oh. I've never done this before. Ooh, carving out cave. It's making a new environment for me? They've updated this since the last time I played. This is pretty spooky. Whoa, there's a hole. Doesn't seem much to be much that you can do here. Whoa! Uh oh, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Deuces. So that was a cave filled with spiders. Oh no, I need grass. Uh oh. Uh oh, this might be the end of me, don't I? Oh, let's run. I can't take much more hits. Rocks! I've come so far for rocks. Monster meat. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh fuck. I didn't even get to survive the entire third day. Oh well, thanks for watching guys. Um, hopefully that was somewhat entertaining. And I'll uh, talk to you guys later.